Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning I'll be talking about British Gas, one of our energy suppliers. But before I begin, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything this happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. Right, before I begin, I also would like to do a short prayer with you. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for this day that you have made. I thank you, O oh God, that you have given us another day. Lord Jesus, I will bless your name at all times. Your praise shall continually be in my mouth. Lord Jesus, I thank you. I glorify you and I honor you, O oh God. Lord Jesus, you are excellent. You are excellent in all the earth, O oh God. Lord Jesus, I will bless you. Father God, I know that we are blessed. We are blessed people for we are children of God. And so, Father God, I pray that you will help your children to understand, to know, to realize that we are blessed for we are children of God. Lord, I pray the joy of the Lord will continue, Father God, to be our strength right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I pray, Father, for every soul that will receive you, O oh God. I pray, Father God, your blessing be upon them. Lord Jesus, I pray your peace be upon them. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Oh God, I pray, Father God, for your children, all of your children, Father God. I pray for them, oh God, that you will continue to help them to continue in you, Father God. Give them the strength and the courage to realize that they are blessed for they are children of God. I thank you, Father God, for everyone, oh God, that have been instrumental in my life. Lord Jesus, may your peace be upon them. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray and I tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I also want to say, um, I've seen some comments you know, a few people commenting that the volume that I'm on my recording is very low and they're unable to hear what I'm saying clearly. Um, it's turned up to the maximum. So um, it's on full, you know, the top bar is turned up quite high. So obviously there's an issue. So what I'll be doing, I'll be purchasing a microphone so that you can hear me clearly because I've turned it up and I've done everything, but you're still saying that you are unable to hear me clearly. And so I'll be purchasing a microphone. Okay, right. I did a prophecy um, recently regarding our energy suppliers, um, you know, and so I I just want to elaborate a bit more on that video that I've done previously. I want to speak a bit more. I've done that video, a prophecy, you know, explaining the things that the Lord have revealed to me, that he has revealed to me and that he's shown me and that is about to take place. And so I just want to speak a bit more on some information that I believe will help you. Just over a week ago, I was online and I saw a trend for British Gas, one of the energy suppliers. And so I clicked on the link based because, you know, I've done a prophecy recently. And so I clicked on the link to see what was happening. And when I did that, I saw that many customers were complaining because their energy, you know, their energy bills were way more 
very high, very extortionate, they were saying. And so when they contact British Gas, their energy supplier, they realize that there's a fault with their meters. So there's a fault with the British Gas meters and so um, the smart meters. And so many customers are receiving bills that is way higher than they should be paying. And so I just want to make you aware of this to check if there's a fault with your meter because we know that prices have increased dramatically and especially since the Ukraine-Russian war, we have seen our energy prices increase even more. You know, and the last thing anyone wants, you know, is to have their bills being over inflated, inflated. And so I'm just encouraging you to check your bills at this time to make sure that you are receiving the correct bill. As I've said, because the meters, the, the smart meters are faulty for British gas customers. It could be happening also with other customers from different suppliers because the smart meters are sometimes made by the same suppliers and the fault is with the smart meters. And so I'm encouraging you at this time to check your meters. Make sure, check it along with your meter reading. So check your meter reading. There's, there should also be a calculation on your bills, on all the bills. There should be an you know information of how they've calculated your bills. And so check that to see that it's in line with what you believe it should be. Though prices have increased, you know, you'll still know if there's an issue. It shouldn't be for thousands as, you know, many customers are complaining that they've received bills for thousands. And so there's clearly an issue with the, the smart meters and the suppliers They've confirmed, this British gas I heard, have confirmed that there's a fault with the um, with the smart meters. And so this is why customers are receiving these very expensive bills. Also, I'm encouraging you to learn how to read your meters. They do it in the kilowatt per hour or something like that. And so learn to understand, you know, how to read your meters for you will save a lot understanding and being able to calculate as well because I've seen often times where it's well over the price it's well expensive more than it should be and so you know at least you'll be able to check that it's the same as what you've got so learn to read your meters and so you can um, be able to do this also I previously spoke about you know being able to Gain your own meter reading. Give the suppliers, your suppliers, your own meter reading. Don't allow them to estimate your meter reading for they will charge you way more than you should. They always estimate it and it's so much higher than it should be. And so I want to encourage you to read your meters yourself and supply your energy suppliers with the meter reading when they've prompted you to do so. Otherwise, you'll be paying much more than you should at this time. Okay, these are my few words for today. But I would like to say, if there's anyone who don't know Jesus as their personal savior, I want to encourage you this morning to receive the Lord, to turn to him today before it's too late for you. Tomorrow is not promised to you and you could die in your sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you this morning to receive the Lord, to turn to him before it's too late for you. There are also those who, they were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage you also to receive the Lord today, to turn to him again before it's too late for you. What will it profit you to gain this whole world and to lose your soul and so I want to encourage you this morning to receive the Lord in your life before it's too late for you. There are also those who, you know, they, they are still professing the faith. 
but they are lukewarm, the word of the Lord describes them. They have one foot in and one foot out, still doing the things of this world and the things of God. I want to encourage you this morning to turn away from the things of the world and seek the Lord in truth. Remember that we are representative of Christ Jesus. And so let us live a life that is pleasing and that is worthy and that is acceptable unto God, that souls will be saved for the kingdom of God. Don't let the life that we live or you live be a stumbling block to others. Remembering that the world is watching us for we are representative of Christ Jesus. And so let us walk in that way. Let us be representative, true representative of Christ Jesus, that his name will be glorified and that souls will be saved for the kingdom of God because you've walked worthily in the call of God on your life. Okay, these words, these few words are it for today. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.